Well, 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 let us see what is the next best thing that Blender developers has to offer us. So with that being said and done, if I go to texture painting, I get this cube with a pink, pinkish look. So we will go over here in the plane slot. If you don't know what these slots are going to do, you can search for texture maps in my channel. There you will get the information. I will give the link in the description as well. So I will click here and go to base color and we will select any color it doesn't matter so the next thing we are going to see is brushes if you click here it is going to open a swatch and if you click over here you can rename it for example i will be giving it a blue color so now the brush is blue but with the help of this button i can click over here and it will create a new brush for me and I could give it a red color so what is the use of it you can specify different brushes like for example if I select the blue one and give it a blue color over here and then select the red one and get the red one over here then I could switch between the blue brush and the red brush anytime anywhere not anywhere but anytime so that is the option we have from here we have a swatch over here if you click on this you will see enable modes there is sculpt uv sculpt vertex weight paint what is the use of it for that to explain let me go to sculpting tab and click over here we have a single brush over here i have created a uh, video on sculpting the entire portion of blender sculpting you can watch that as well on my youtube channel links will be given in the description as well so i will go back to texture painting and now i will go over here enable modes and in the sculpt mode and now if i go to sculpting mode voila you get the red brush so if we go to texturing and now if I remove this from sculpting it will not be available there for those who don't believe in me I am just showing this so texture paint and now I can click and drag and the primary color will be painted on it so these are the buttons and this allows us to create a custom icon for that brush like if you click over here all these brushes will be of same types if i click two three times all the brushes have the image is almost same so what i can do is i can click over here and give it a local image for the this scene why don't i use my photo as well so now this brush will have a custom thumbnail that is very wonderful that blender developers have provided us by the way if you are liking this software you can support me there is no doubt about it i will be promoting myself but i would also like you to support blender and go for blender development fund you go to the blender's web page and there you will find there you will find a blue button uh, just i am deviating from my lecture for a bit and showing you you can go to the donate button and then you can donate here uh, donate them and lot of people are donating and very big companies are donating so make sure that you donate to this as well uh, so that is the help of this I will click this off next is blend blending modes so there is dark and multiply uh, screen add and overlay which are generally used for those who don't know uh, let me illustrate it to you add is going to add the colors when you are painting them over one another over here it is being added so uh, you can go to multiply and click and drag this will be multiplying the color over it so the color is so dark that uh, Overlay is one more thing that you can paint 
in such a fashion that the color will be over laid over one another okay so that's it for the blend modes next will be the radius which you can change by tapping f and uh, moving the mouse cursor you can also change the size of the brush by tapping square brackets if you click and hold square bracket it will increase the brush if you click and hold the square bracket it will decrease the size of the brush now this is strength which can also be activated with the help of shift f you can this is like an opacity of the brush for those who are coming from the photoshop background and then here is the stylus pressure uh, for those who don't know there are devices like this which are called as pen tab with the help of pen you can draw on this tablet and whatever you draw over here is being visually painted over there so people draw it with the help of that so if you tick this it is going to apply pen pressure on it what it actually means is what is actually happening is if i click and drag over it the size of the brush will be more with the help of this if i click and drag the strength of the brush will be more if i click and drag lightly the strength of the brush will be very low if i click hardly and draw press hardly and draw the color will be more darker more brighter in this case and uh, related to this uh, this is like unifying unifying the brush what it actually means is now uh, it is having a size of 14 pixels so let me take something like 50 this is the size of the brush and if i take any brush the size will be same because we are unifying it if i remove this stick off what will happen is if i select any other brush and change the size of that brush blue is this much and red will be bigger blue will be smaller so because we have ticked it off every brush will have their different sizes strength the same thing happens over here if you click on this all the brushes will have the same strength and if you click this off each and every brush will have their own different strengths then we have color i don't think we need to explain a lot over here one thing i could explain over here is there is a primary color and there is a secondary color if you want to switch between it what you can do is you can click and drag for the primary color and click and hold control and click and drag to get the secondary color and if you want to swap it you can swap it with the help of this or you can tap x on the keyboard to swap the colors this is the same thing if you want to unify it over all the brushes or do you want to keep uh, different settings for different brushes then we have a gradient this is a very wonderful thing but but yeah one more thing i think i missed over here image paint tool these are different tools these are nothing but draw software and smear clone fi uh, fill mask and if you come over here the same brushes are over here draw software and smear clone fill mask same to same brushes that thing i wanted to let you know so there is a gradient so to apply a gradient you need the fill tool and if you click and drag it will be applying the gradient if i click on the gradient then it will be applying the gradient if it is color it will be applying the color if i click over here it will apply the entire it will apply the color on the entire object if i go to gradient and then if i come over here and select any other color like for example green and we will take something like pinkish and click and drag then it will give a gradient there are two types of gradient available over here one is linear and one is radial and make sure 
when you are painting the radial brush it's going to apply on the other side of the object as well now how do you want to apply it on one face that will be explained in another video it will not be a part of this video uh, then the next buttons are plus if you want to add an extra color between like blue so what will happen is uh, if we go to gradient and to linear this helps us in positioning this swatches where you want to position it and then we have different options over here like one of the option you can clearly view it is the constant one it's going to constantly change the swatches like if i control click to get a new swatch i can create a new color over here so this is how you apply a color on the object and uh, if you have any more doubts you can ask me in the comments if you are liking this video hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit the share button leave a wonderful comment and if you want to support this channel if you want to make this channel keep growing then you can support me through patreon's page or you can support me through google pay phone pay paytm phone number will be given in the description as well and if you want you can support me by viewing the entire videos which are uh, entire ads which are falling on these videos completely so that whatever the revenue is generated will be completely gone for the research in blender so with that being said and done try to see it learn it understand it i will see you in the next video Yeah.